many don't know this, but you also currently serve as uh, Maite's manager. Mm-hmm. So, so you were right there when she came on board and you probably had front row seats to watching that relationship between Prince and Maite start kind of blossoming up. Obviously at that point, she's uh, under 18 when she first comes on the scene, but is it, is it obvious to you or anyone else that something else is happening there once she starts coming of age? I mean, are, are you starting to see like, are you literally watching this relationship unfold before you? Is it, was it something everybody claims and, and I would claim the same that out, out of all the women that Prince has been with Maite is easily by far the closest thing to his soulmate that probably would ever be. Um, and, and some would argue that I, I'll just, I'll let you speak on my table. Um, I'm just going to switch real quick. My earphone, my earbuds are getting ready to tank on. I mean, can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, can hear you fine. Yeah. All right, great. Um, yeah, I, 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 I would definitely say there was a love there. Quickly, I mean, I don't think he could have thought her up. Um, he couldn't have created her out of his own hand um, when he started having those feelings for her. And you know, I shared this with Maite. You know, she was one of the reasons why I left to be honest. Um, really? Well, she was there. And I felt in a way that he needed to find, he needed to become more responsible for what he was doing or what he wanted to do and, and whatnot. And that's a whole nother story. But I thought she would make him okay. Like, uh, this is the wow. person that he, she, he'd be okay because she was around. And if I felt that he wasn't going to be okay, I probably wouldn't have left. But wow. she was uh, she was definitely, she gave me the relief that I needed that, you know, my friend was gonna be okay, things are gonna turn out well. And um, so when I left, you know, I, I see, you know, he's getting married and all this other stuff. For me, I was like, that's great. I'm like, finally. Like finally, you know, he's <laughs> to that point. He, he's found what he's been looking for, and that whole thing. Honey, so, I'm it, home. I'll be home for yeah, dinner. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But you know what? I mean, it's kind of. I remember he got mad. We were talking one night, and he's like, "You know, you have this, you have that, you have a family, and you have children. Why don't I have that?" And I'm like, "Who's stopping you? You know, like you need to do that. You know, do right. that if that's what you want to do." And um, and then he did. You know, and and um, you know, he, he tried to make the the most of that, and and. Uh, you know, unfortunately, things didn't turn out the way that I think he had hoped and that she had hoped and, and everything, you know, life happens. And sometimes just those things that uh, are beyond your control take place. And, you know, he had to find a way to navigate to that as well. Right. Yeah, I know that um, today was the anniversary of his appearance on The Muppet Show. And I remember the, the core reasoning for him going to do that was he really wanted to set up a library for his, his children. He kind of was in that, okay, that kid mode. Um, yeah. I mean, you know, the thing about the relationship that I saw with, with him is it, she allowed him to get beyond himself and yeah. get outside of himself. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I, I, I would say, you know, one of the, the, the things about him is he had trouble not being Prince, you know, not being the, the persona that we all realize until my day. And then he found a way to to do that. I mean, I remember one of the first shots I saw with him, I think he was just in a sweater or something. He looked like a, you know, his his dad look, if you will. And I was just kind of like, whoa, okay. You know, because he's getting there. So, you know, um, beautiful relationship. 